Uh, Lisa, thanks for joining us today. Another uh, positive day for women's darts with the announcement that there will be three weekends of women's series action this year. What's your reaction to that news? That's absolutely fantastic news. Uh, we again offered three tournaments this time. That's brilliant. We only did one last time. So that's fantastic news. That's a massive step forward for ladies. And how would you describe the, uh, the competitiveness of the last two years of uh, women's series events? How, how do you think it's gone? I think mean, it's done brilliant, yeah. After the first time, quite a lot of new ladies come and tried it and they've all had positives about it, waiting to see if there's anything more. But to get three chances this time, it's brilliant. All the ladies uh, can't wait to enter now. Yeah. And with one of those being in Germany as well, it, it opens up more opportunities for overseas players as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, because like the first time we uh, we had COVID had just come in, so they couldn't travel. But to have two here and one in Germany, so that's plenty of opportunities for the more overseas people to travel just to there and hopefully come to us as well. Yeah, and there's been a lot of interest in women's darts. Uh, very popular on PDC TV uh, last, last year's uh, women's series. Got a lot of viewers. Um, do you think interest is continuing to grow in women's darts? Yeah, definitely. As like you said, what Fallon done and what I've done it and got into it, more ladies want the opportunity to do what, what, what we've had the opportunities of. And now it's like the ratings went higher as, as the members played. A lot was interested in the ladies, so we've got three chances now and hopefully the ratings will go higher and uh, we get more people in. And once again, places at World Championship and Grand Slam will be on the line at the Women's Series. So it's really offering, offering an opportunity uh, to players once again to compete in the, in the biggest tournaments. Yeah, it's a massive opportunity. It's like Fallon was a bit gutted that she didn't qualify, but it was nice to see new faces in. I was happy I qualified. I definitely hope to try my best to get through again because it's the biggest tournament in the world to play against the men as well. So all, all the ladies back it and, and you never know, you could be there where we've been. That's got to be your goal, hasn't it, for the rest of this year to get back to Ali Pali in front of fans again, hopefully, uh, this year. Yeah, definitely. After like watching tournaments coming back with fans in, yeah, I'm definitely going to try my best and get back. I love the Ali Pali. It's, it's no other better place you can be. But to have the fans in this time would be another dream to play when they're there. Yeah, and you've been a tour guide holder now for uh, about 18 months, roughly. Um, how would you describe the experience overall? It's been great. It's helped my game. I know it's lifted my game massively, playing against the men, the best players in the world. So I can't argue. I'm doing one or two scalps and all that, so I'm happy. So all I can do is just keep improving and hopefully get back to Ali Pali in the big tournaments as well. Yeah, and then if you do get to Ali Pali, the aim is to retain the tour card, isn't it? Yes, definitely, yeah. I'm trying my best to keep the tour card as, as much as I can, but to get in the Ali Pali in the big tournaments helps me more. So yes, hopefully I can get back and keep my card. And you made some more history earlier this year with the, the first woman to average 100 on TV. Um, how, how proud are you of that achievement? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, it's another massive achievement. We know with ladies we can play well, but to do it entirely and finally get the win, and then the bonus, we're up the 100 average, so it shows I'm improving my game all the time, so hopefully I can raise that a little bit more. Yeah. And the more you break down these uh, standing records, the more it becomes normal to see you know, uh, women averaging 100 in the future won't be uh, an abnormal thing. It will be, oh, Lisa's averaged 100 again, or you know, Fallon's averaged 100. It will be more of a normal thing uh, for the game. Yeah, definitely, because the more the ladies are improving, the more our averages are rising. So like you said, the more ladies are in 90s and all that, so hopefully now we'll hit more wonders and like you said, it will just come a normal normal score average and we'll just keep raising it as much as we can. Yeah, and are we seeing more, a lot of young players coming through now? Is there, is there, is there investment in youth? Because that's the future of the women's game, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Uh, the youth system is brilliant. They're getting more every time. But it's nice to see they're interested and they want to go with where we've been. So it's nice they're pushing themselves and hopefully get what we do. And hopefully we can open the doors more for them. And how would you say that the darts scene in women's darts and in general darts has, has changed since you started? Yeah, it's it's gone massive. I've had there's so much support of the ladies still and doing and the proud and they just showing what I can do and hopefully open the door for what they can do. So the ladies, are, they, they want what I've got and it's nice to see, it's like they're, they're aiming for it 
So hopefully they keep going and into like these women's series because that's the first step and hopefully they can break through as well. Yeah. Obviously you're a very down to earth person but do you see yourself as sort of a pioneer for women's darts? Do you think the other players look up to you and want to follow in your footsteps? I hope they do. I hope you know, I've showed a lot of the young ones and the ladies who play now. It's just we can get through. I've got through and the other ladies can get through so I'm just hoping I've showed them, look, you will break through, just keep aiming and keep going and you will get there. Okay. And do you think in the, in the long term future we'll see uh, a number of f female tour card holders uh, on the PDC circuit? Yeah, definitely. It's like you said, the entries in the ladies in Q School are, are doubling. And now, like, you've got Fallon tries again, you've got Dita, you've got Lorraine, you've got Anna, you've got more ladies are entering now. So hopefully they keep entering and they keep going in. Hopefully more ladies get the tour cards and then uh, it won't be like ladies and men's, it'll just be all professional players. Because that's what's unique about the sport of darts, isn't it? There's no reason why uh, women can't compete with men. So it should be something the sport embraces as, uh, you know, it's unique to this sport because there's not many sports that, that can no, do that. No, it's not. No, it's just like um, the, the only lady at the minute is just like lady. But like you said, in time to come, I think more ladies can push through. And then it will just be a whole of the darts thing, not men and ladies. It'll just be a whole sport. So hopefully, yeah, more ladies get through, and then it'll all stop this lady and the men's thing. Yeah, but I suppose to, to achieve that, you have to give it a helping hand you know, with these women's series events. Although that is still categorising as women's events, it's to produce players for the future, isn't it? So that one day there won't be a women's series. It'll be all part of one series and. Uh, but yeah, it's yeah. given the opportunities, isn't it, to Definitely. help in hand up? Definitely, yeah. It's like this is a massive step for the ladies. I mean, we've always asked for more tournaments and they're giving us three. As at the minute, the ladies haven't got any tournaments as, as what's gone on with like the BDO and other systems. So this is fantastic. For a massive breakthrough for them to come through. Hopefully the WDF go well, but this is the biggest step they can ever have to have the go to Ali Pali in the biggest world championship and the Grand Slam. You can't ask for anything better. Bright times ahead. Thank you very much.